Hello, I'm Grady Edwards, a Digital Integration Specialist at Lori County Schools. Today we will be going deeper with Keynote. If you're brand new to Keynote, I recommend you take a look at the Getting Started with Keynote video also on our YouTube channel. Keynote is an app that can be used as a presentation tool. It's a lot like PowerPoint or Google Slides, um, but it's, it works primarily with uh, iOS and OS Mac products. Before we get started, don't forget to subscribe to our channel by clicking our logo during the video. Also, give us feedback or check our related videos by clicking the pop-up cards in the upper right corner. Okay, so let's get started with um, some tools in Keynote. Specifically, I'd like to show you uh, four more advanced tools uh, that you can use uh, within Keynote. So let's go ahead and pick a presentation. So the first thing I'd like you to take a look at is how we can add some tools up into this toolbar. And you see here, I've already added the Instant Alpha tool. So let me show you how to do that. If I go to View, Custom Toolbar, or Customize Toolbar, I can add and remove various tools. So if I want to remove Instant Alpha, I can bring it back down here. If I want to get Instant Alpha back, I will go ahead and add that. If there's another uh, tool that I want to add, let's say I want to add my fonts right up to this toolbar, I can go ahead and add it there. And you can access those uh, options directly from that, from that toolbar. So it's a real easy way to create some shortcuts uh, for some of these items. So for example, if I want to highlight this, look at fonts, Right, I can uh, include all my fonts right here so I don't have to go to text style. So for example, let's do this, Keynote. I can very quickly take a look at different fonts instead of having to find it through uh, these sub-tabs up here. All right, so again, and you can do that with any tool uh, up here at the top. Again, all you have to do is go to View, Customize Toolbar, and you can add and remove tools uh, to your Keynote, the tools you use most often. Next, I'd like to show you how you can do a pretty cool animation to anything that, that's listed on your presentation. So let's take a look at this. So up here I have today's classes, history, math, science, and ELA. Now that's going to look pretty boring if I just presented it that way. So let me show you a cool little trick you can do. So if I want to, I'll select my box where I have everything listed. I'll go to animate. I want to add an effect. I want to choose dissolve. Now you'll see here I'll get some options. So when I present this, I can just deliver it all at once, or I can choose to deliver it by highlighted bullet. All right, and watch this cool, um, how cool this effect is. So I've set that there. Now if I go to play, watch how neat this is. So when I take a look at this, history comes up, and then it's um, it's almost it's almost looks like it's disabled. Math is highlighted, then math goes away. Science is highlighted, science goes away. ELA, uh, and so on and so forth. So again, I think that's a pretty cool little trick, and I, I'm sure that it uh, accomplishes what's called the segmenting principle. So your students will be looking at the highlighted word when you're, when you're speaking about that highlighted word or highlighted term. So that's a pretty cool little trick uh, you can use uh, as well in regards to lit. Okay, next I want to show you a uh, really neat little trick uh, called Magic Move. And this is something that's embedded right within Keynote and it's really going to spice up your, your presentations and really spice up the, really the transition of uh, slide to slide uh, Magic Move makes it pretty seamless and it, it adds some pretty cool uh, effects. So let me show you how to utilize Magic Move and then you can get creative with it. So for example, let's say my first topic is, is today's classes and then I want to explain today's classes. So uh, I'll do this. I'll go ahead and duplicate this slide. All right. So the way Magic Move works, you see slide two, I have today's classes. Anything uh, on slide two that I want on slide three, if I want any animation to, to be involved, I can choose to, to do so in Magic Move. So let's just say uh, when it transitions from slide two to three, I want to make this just a tad smaller. I'll have to go up to text and do so. Oh, I'll make that just a tad smaller. And instead of being right front and center, I want it to go to the top a little bit. All right? And then I'll include a text box with some bullets, text bullets, uh, history, math, science, and ELA. Okay, so I'll make this just a hair bigger uh, as well, or space it out just a little bit bigger. Okay, cool. 
All right. So now watch how, watch how neat this is. So I'll go to slide two, back to slide two, and I want to go to animate, add a transition, magic move. Okay. Uh, animates object from this slide to their position on the next slide. Okay, I want to hit OK, and if you don't want that to pop up, you can just hit, don't show me that again. So I'll hit OK. So now watch what happens. The transition from slide two to slide three was just that. So I'll go ahead and play this for you. When you present, and now we're at slide two, we're going to transition to slide three. Watch how cool that is. Uh, it has today's classes going to the top. Its font size has decreased, and uh, history, math, science, and ELA have automatically transitioned. Uh, in there, but you can get real creative with it. Magic Move is, is certainly a pretty cool and, and powerful tool to really spice up your presentations. Okay, next I want to talk to you how you can actually create uh, buttons, uh, and when you're in the play mode, when you share this with your students and the students are in the play mode of your presentation, these buttons can actually uh, take them to certain places within your slide deck or even to web pages. So let's talk about that a little bit. So first let's add a shape for our button. I'll just add a little square here, and I will copy, I'll duplicate this, all right, and I'll change the color. All right, so first what I can do to both of these, actually, I can create a little drop shadow to make the button, you can change the blur and, and what that actually looks like, but just so I can uh, make that uh, look more like a button, give it some depth there. So what I can do here, I'll click this blue button, and what I'll go to, I'll go to up here to Format, and add the link. All right, so I, you see here I can add it to a certain slide. So if the students are going through this and I say, I want this blue button to take you to the, let's do a slide number, I'll take you to slide three. Okay, and then if I want this button to, I'll go back to format, add link, web page. Let's say I want them to go to Ori County Schools.net. Okay. Go to page. Whoop. All right. So if I go down to my keynote, all right, I've set up both of those. Check this out. So I'll play this. All right, if I click the blue slide, I'm going to slide three. If I click the green slide, I'm going to OriCountySchools.net. So pretty cool little feature there. I'd like to thank you for watching this tutorial. I hope you uh, enjoyed these uh, four uh, more advanced uh, options in uh, Keynote. Uh, again, I'd like to thank you for watching this. Be sure to subscribe, like, and follow us by clicking on the links below in the description. Thanks.